much as anybody Help! You know I need someone Help! Well, when I was young was so much One young morning on January 22nd, which is the memorial of Roe v. Wade, at my college, my pro-life club there, Live Action, made a cemetery for the innocents. We made over a thousand cardboard gravestones to represent lives lost by abortion over the past 30, over 30 years. And we did this with cardboard and we cut out all the pieces ourselves and I'm going to teach you how to do that. Now, now these days are gone and I'm not so self-assured. In order to make a cemetery of the innocents using gravestones, you're going to need a lot of cardboard because all the materials is made out of cardboard. In order to get a lot of cardboard, all you have to do is go to your local grocery store, even a 7-Eleven, and usually the vendor there, or the manager there, will willingly give you their cardboard because they want to get rid of it. So once you have a lot of cardboard, then you're going to want to spray paint the cardboard white or light gray. In order to do that, you get your, you get your spray paint from maybe a Rite Aid or a local drugstore, and this is going to be very easy to do. It's about $5, and you get a few cans depending on how much cardboard you have. Then you lay out newspaper, make sure the area you're working on is protected so you don't leave spray paint on the ground. And you spray paint your cardboard so it's going to be white or light gray. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet The next thing you're going to do is going to be dependent on what you're going for as far as educating your campus. 3,700 lives are lost each day during, due to abortion. So if you want to represent that number to your college campus, you can do a couple things. First of all, say you wanted to make 370 tombstones to represent the number of lives lost, each one representing 10 lives lost. In order to do that, you might want to go smaller. This little piece of cardboard cut out took maybe 30 seconds to cut. The way you do this is you take your big piece of cardboard and you take a ruler, and this right here, by the way, is about eight inches by five inches. You measure it, so this is eight inches tall, five inches wide, you mark it, you draw it down. This it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look perfectly done. And then you cross cut it like that so it's easy to cut out. Then you cut these out. You're gonna if you're doing three hundred and seventy of them, you might want to make it a fun night with five of five of the people from your group. You have pizza, you could even watch a movie as you do it. It's very easy and fun to do. If you want to go for a different kind of impact, you can go for less tombstones. You might want to do only 37 to represent each tombstone representing 100 lives lost. This could be really powerful and it would require larger tombstones. It's very easy to do this. You get a larger piece of cardboard, say we'll use this whole piece right here, and you're going, you're going to cut it out, do the exact same thing, maybe you'll make it 12 inches by 7 or 8 inches. You'll cut down the corners like before and you'll have a bigger tombstone. All of this is very easy to do. It requires nothing more than a scissors. Depending on the thickness or the stiffness of the cardboard, you might want to be using an X-Acto knife. Again, you're using a ruler, you're using a Sharpie marker or a pencil or a pen, you're using spray paint, cardboard, and newspaper. It's always best to have a big sign to say what your graveyard is. Cemetery of the Innocents, to represent the lives lost by abortion. Whatever you choose, it will be powerful because many people in our country, especially on our college campuses, don't know the huge tragedy that's taking place, and they need to. Won't you please?